Wake a sleeping dog. Harry saw red when received a aghast call on Halloween night made Meghan tear. Prince Harry reportedly received a devastating phone call some years ago while the Duke was visiting his bride Duby Meghan Markle in Canada for Halloween, reports have uncovered. Prince Harry, 37, decided to visit his now wife Meghan Markle, 40, in Canada for All Saints Eve during the early stages of the couple's relationship in 2016. However, the now Duke and Duchess of Sussex received a horrible phone call from the British side of the pond from Harry's aides at Kensington Palace, informing them that their relationship was about to be made public. The Mirror has revealed how the unauthorized biography Finding Freedom, written by royal reporters Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand, claimed the pair were having the perfect evening before the aides phoned. They especially didn't feel like spending Halloween weekend in hiding, as there was much to celebrate, they wrote. Some four months into their relationship, they were madly in love and eager to take part in the fun of one of their favorite holidays. The evening of October 29th, with Harry in town, the couple decided to go to a big costume party being thrown at Soho House in Toronto. Harry and Meghan reportedly attended the party wearing Venetian style masks to help them stay undercover while they enjoyed Halloween. Harry's cousin Princess Eugenie, 31, was also said to be at the party with her now husband Jack Brooks Bank, 35. It was possibly the perfect night out, until they received a call from one of Harry's aides at Kensington Palace. It wasn't good news. The couple were informed by Kensington Palace aides that a newspaper had found out about their relationship and intended to go live with the story the following day. While the Mirror did not name the newspaper, the Sunday Express broke the news that Harry and Meghan were dating on October 31, 2016. According to the Mirror, Harry and Meghan were reportedly left upset and angry once they found out their romance would go public. Less than two years later, Harry and Meghan tied the knot at Windsor Castle's St. George's Chapel. Although Meghan was an actor before meeting Harry, she did not receive as much mainstream attention as she did after starting a relationship with the royal. Meghan has shared that this was a difficult adjustment for her, especially when she was dealing with unproven rumors about her in the media. I never thought that this would be easy, but I thought it would be fair, she said in the 2019 documentary Harry and Meghan, An African Journey. In the infamous 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey, Meghan also said the distress from dealing with the press and with royal life led her to have depression. In 2020, Meghan and Harry stepped down as senior royals and moved to California. The couple is now living a more private life with their two children. Recently, Meghan wakes a sleeping dog when making a new move to interfere in U.S. politics sparked a wave of fierce protests. In an open letter, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are calling on world leaders at the Group of 20 Summit of Major Economies in Italy to address the lack of access to COVID-19 vaccines in low-income countries. The G20 meeting, an annual gathering featuring heads of state, is taking place in Rome this year with the goal of improving coordination on global issues. The open letter, which also features World Health Organization Director General Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus as a cother, appears on the agency's website. Today, we join with others to urge global leaders to end this devastating inequity and end this pandemic once and for all, the letter reads. G20 leaders have the power to accelerate long-promised donations and to commit to breaking the hold that manufacturing countries and pharmaceutical companies currently have over access to the vaccines and how they're made. Although 49.3% of the world's population has received at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine and 7 billion doses have been administered, only 3.5% of people in low-income countries have received at least one dose, according to Our World in Data.